Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you nine YouTube channel ideas without showing your face or using your voice. And the first type of channel that you could do is gaming tutorials. So you could show people how to uh, navigate through a game. You could show them walkthroughs. You could show them how to get from point A to point B, how to un unlock certain items, Easter eggs, how to kill certain bosses in the game, those types of things. One example is Pack Attack 04082 has kind of a terrible name but for marketing purposes, but he has almost 3.6 million subscribers. So clearly his name doesn't matter. But it's a great channel as an example for how to do gaming without having to speak or use your voice in any way. And you'll notice that they just do like a lot of Mario games and uh, Nintendo type games where they just show you like every possible thing you can do in a game. So if you were to click on any of these videos, uh, you know, they would just kind of show you all kinds of stuff in certain games, you know, they don't even usually use text on the screens or anything, I don't think. So um, that's something that you could learn from. Another channel you could learn from is Boss Fight Databases. You'll notice that, uh, you know, they'll have these different fights with certain uh, hard to beat what we call bosses in a video game. So he'll show you how to do that without really saying anything or using text or anything like that so you don't see the person playing you don't hear their voice either they just kind of, you just kind of have to learn by watching what they do another type of channel you could do is like a historic channel or a cool facts channel um it's hard to explain exactly what the right category name for this type of channel would be but to show you an example you could look up uh dark five all one word and they have almost 2.3 million subscribers and you'll notice that they do a lot of like oh mysteries of you know 1946 or something like that or the strangest storms ever observed in space or dark secrets on u.s islands around the world or something like that just like strange things that people might not know about strange things in history and that kind of stuff so you can learn a lot from those types of videos and for the most part, they don't use any kind of uh, voice or narration or they and they are not like actors in their own videos. You don't see their face. Um, it's just mostly like pictures and old clips and uh, text. Maybe they'll point certain things out and highlight them in the video. And that's about it. Another thing you can do is animation. Now you can use someone else's voice. You can use, um, you can hire somebody on a site like Fiverr to do uh, narration and all those types of things. Maybe they're good at doing animated voices. Maybe they're good at, good at throwing their voice like certain characters that you recognize on a TV show or something. Um, or you can throw your own voice. So technically you're not using your own voice if you're maybe self-conscious about it or something or just want to have your privacy you could just throw your voice completely different to what it you usually sounds like so like an example would be a channel called jamesorton and you can see that uh they have this video that's very popular with over, almost 20 million views called happy souls that's one of his most popular videos but you'll notice that he do he does these animated like stories based on video games and then uh so the visual does not include his face and there is, you know, I don't know if he uses his voice and throws it to be different characters or if he uses someone else for the voices. But um, that's another thing you could do is animations with voiceovers from other people. Another thing you could, or you could even do silent animations. But another thing you could do is pet videos. Obviously you don't need to talk or even be in the pet videos. A lot of times pets will do all the work for you so for instance you know some of these you'll have like i've seen some where dogs will do certain things that are funny or um, like this one was on reddit one time husky dances for food with bull i recommend that that's pretty funny um you know you have all these dog videos they do funny things 
they'll dance with their trainers or they have cat videos where they'll ride a Roomba or something like that. So you can do videos like that and a lot of these get millions of views and literally the star of the show is your dog or your cat or whatever pet. Another thing you can do is a a um, a video where you show people how to do something that's more of like a physical activity. So maybe they only see your hands. Maybe they only see you from the neck down or something and you're showing them how to do, you know, how to cook for instance with Alma with Almazan Kitchen. Um, they have almost two and a half million subscribers and they show you how to do, uh, they gather materials. Usually the guy's wearing like a hoodie and you can't see his face. He'll gather materials in the woods and then like cook them using like an actual, you know, open flame and stuff. So like it's stuff that you would do like in the woods, like primal type cooking. Another thing you could, you could learn from is uh, primitive technology. And a lot of times you'll see somebody in the video, but you won't see their face and they'll show you how to make uh, materials or make shelters or something like that using rocks and wood and those types of things in uh, their videos. And you learn a lot just from using uh, materials around a forest or something. Now, obviously you don't have to do something exactly like that. Now you could kind of figure out what the guy looks like in certain angles, but for the most part, his face is not shown and he does not talk. Another thing you could do is music. You would probably want to focus on music that is instrumental, of course. If you do instrumental music, say you did remixes of famous intro songs from TV shows or from movies or something like that, like TV shows, they usually have some sort of intro with a unique song. And you could say do a remix of it and make like a, you know, a faster paced version of it or a a rock version of it or a slowed down version or something. So like if you did like a remix of the Game of Thrones intro song, like pretty much every Game of Thrones fan knows the song, but you could turn it into like something you might want to use during a workout. Like it's a lot more upbeat or something. So that would be something you could do. Some of these channels uh, like Keto Music, 3.9 million views on their Game of Thrones remix song. You don't need to sing. You don't need to use your voice. You don't need to have your face shown at all. You can literally just use pictures or game footage or footage from whatever else as your visual. Another thing you can do is uh, computer tutorials using text or something like that. So you could have basically, um, you could teach people how to use a certain software and then you could even make affiliate income from that software. If you want to do affiliate marketing with your YouTube channel, that's a great way to make money and monetize your channel. Uh, then you have ads revenue and other things like that. But this is like a short version of one. So like how to remove vocals from a song using something like audacity, which is a software and you could, you could learn from this tutorial and like this person in particular does not really talk or show their face. Um, I don't think so. You can learn from that. You could do those types of tutorials, how to use certain software, how to use certain websites, etc. Another thing you could do is compilations where you take a bunch of clips of people doing stunts or something or funny clips or whatever. You know, you've probably heard of the TV show America's Funniest Home Videos. If you're someone who lives in the US and kind of grew up in the last 20 years, um, that's basically what that show is, except just with a host. So you could do you, a YouTube channel like that and just not be the host. And it'd be pretty much the same thing. And a lot of people watch videos like that. Like if you look at people are awesome, check out that channel. They have over 3 million subscribers and it's literally just people doing stunts. That's pretty much all it is. And it's actually really inspiring and really cool to watch because people do some crazy things. But, um, and then you could have a website with a submissions page so that you actually have the legal right to use people's clips. Um, and then another thing, of course, which is kind of a strange thing to do, but might get better in the future is using a computer generated voice. So, so there's like this channel that I kind of accidentally found one time, which is a word definition channel. So if you're not sure how to pronounce a, certain words, it will like, use a computer voice and pronounce certain words. So 
a lot of these videos obviously don't have a lot of views, but they have just a lot of volume. Um, so they'll like upload a bunch of videos at once and it'll be like definitions. It'll be how to pronounce certain words and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't recommend you make a channel like this. It would be very hard to be successful with this channel. It would probably just bore people for the most part, unless you're just trying to learn, uh, you know, English as a new language. But you can use a computer generated voice for different things. And I'm sure they'll get better in the future as far as quality. So they're probably not great to use right now, but maybe in the future, that's something you could try. So other than that, you can check out the uh, playlist right there in the top right if you want more YouTube channel ideas and YouTube tips for marketing, building a channel, starting a new channel as a beginner, um, how to find the right type of channel for your skill set, for your personality type, all that stuff. You can check out that channel um, playlist right there in the top right of your screen. And I will see you in the next video.